What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. At the very start of the preseason to season 6, the 80 carry class received a huge overhaul and a major group of reworks. And now we're finally coming up on the major reworks pretty soon too. Tons of champions are being reworked left and right this season for the long term health of the game. And just yesterday, Riot Meddler commented on a forum post and said that Riot is planning on doing another class update at the end of the year after the season 6 worlds. And with that class update, Assassins are probably going to be the most likely option. Now we didn't say it would be Assassins for sure, just that they were the biggest contender for that spot. And it's making me wonder, should Riot rework Assassins? Assassins in League of Legends are a pretty weird group of characters in terms of their design that they bring as a champion. An Assassin's Merit is very much entirely based on a simple yes or no question. Can they dive in and successfully assassinate their target? If yes, then they are incredibly powerful. And if no, then they're pretty much useless. And that merit that decides whether or not an Assassin is good in any given situation is a really weird one that makes for a troubling design mechanic. The reason why Assassins are like this is because they don't really have much utility outside of something that's going to let them dive in on their target, and something that will let them escape. And due to that, they are by nature hypermobile, but don't really have the tools to do much else other than try to assassinate people. Assassins are generally the most mobile characters in all of League of Legends, and as a result of all of those things, they become a nightmare to balance and have a lot of problems with them. If an assassin gets a lead, they often just become a monster and run away with the game due to the mobility tools that they have, whereas if an assassin falls behind, they become pretty much useless for the most part. Assassins are allowed to exist due to the concept of counterplay. Counterplay is what makes an assassin have interactive gameplay, but it's not that clear cut. If you make the counterplay too reliable, the assassin is just useless, and if you make it a total shot in the dark to capitalize on, then it's not fair for the people that are getting assassinated. Assassins as a class are probably the most difficult to design, and as a result they suffer a lot from design issues, and there's a lot of things that can happen during an actual game that really expose those issues too. Most assassins are only truly fair if they're completely even, or maybe slightly behind their opponents. If they're too far ahead or too far behind, they create really frustrating gameplay on one side of the spectrum, either the assassin player or the people facing them. And on top of that, since they're so mobile, even if they're even, a lot of times it can be a struggle to deal with depending on your champion. It sucks to die to an assassin because you just happen to be playing Ash or Kog'Ma instead of Corky or Tristana who have escapes. Now despite this design flaw that assassins by nature have, you have to admit that they create some pretty exciting gameplay. Assassins have, or at least are supposed to have, a high risk, high reward playstyle, and that can be really fun to play as but it can also be super fun to play against as well if you do manage to outplay them. And that's a pretty good thing as long as it's a fair fight, and I don't want to argue that assassins don't have a place in League of Legends, because they definitely do. They're a fun and unique type of champion that really adds a lot of excitement sometimes. As for whether or not they truly deserve reworks, you have to break it down into the core design aspects of what a full-scale rework like this might accomplish for the group as a whole and whether or not they need that. The Mage and AD carry reworks had very clear goals that were totally similar, and it's likely that an Assassin rework would have identical goals to that. The goals for a full-scale class rework has typically come down to three things. First, it's to make every champion distinct from one another, to give every individual champion a strategic niche where they might want to be played over other champions. Loads of champions in League of Legends get outclassed, where there's no reason to play X champion when you can play Y or Z, and Riot doesn't like that and these class reworks are their way of addressing that problem. The next goal they have is to make these champions cohesive. They want to really capture the gameplay fantasy, personality, and story of all characters in their gameplay kit. Essentially, this means it's Riot's way of bringing the older, out-of-date champions in line with the much newer and more evolved design philosophies of the champions created since 2014. Champion design was a lot different before 2014, or late 2013 I guess, and to be honest it was a lot worse and it's improved loads since then, and these reworks are Riot's way of bringing those champions up to par in terms of character, personality, and how the character feels to play in game in relation to that. And lastly it's to make those champions that receive reworks healthy and balanceable with meaningful strengths and meaningful weaknesses, to make them fun to play as, but also interactive to play against. 
Now reworking the entire group of assassins is a really big deal, so you have to ask the question, do assassins require those things that would merit a rework? And I'm not entirely sure. For the first point of making the champions distinct from one another, this is something that the assassins actually do quite well unlike the mages or the AD carries. Pretty much all assassins have some distinct reason to play them over one another. They have different mechanics that interact differently with the targets they are trying to kill, and every assassin kills their target in a different way, and every assassin escapes and survives after killing someone in a different way too. It's just kind of hard to realize that I guess, and it's especially hard for the meta to appreciate that, because every assassin is on a totally different end of the balance spectrum. We have assassins like Zed and LeBlanc who are super powerful and viable at the competitive level, and assassins like Akali and Katarina who are totally underplayed, and a bunch of other assassins somewhere in between that spectrum. But the kits that exist on assassins do a pretty solid job of being different from one another, so they don't actually merit a rework from this individual concept. Now the second point in question was the idea of making the champions cohesive and up to date in terms of riot standards. Now this is an interesting one because it's one that you really need to look at on a case by case basis. Now of the assassins that exist in the game, which ones came out before early 2014 slash late 2013, which is when Riot's champion design started to have massive improvements? Well it's pretty much all of them actually, except for Echo and maybe Yasuo if you count him as an assassin, but I see him as more of like a fighter. Jin and Kindred are also listed as assassins in their secondary role as well, but I don't think they qualify based on the roles that they're designed for. They don't really have like the playstyle of a Talon or a Zed. So in this category, I didn't actually realize it, but yeah, looking at the list, everyone except for Echo pretty much, which is an overwhelming majority. So okay, assassins would deserve a rework based on the merit of this concept. And then we have the third point, which is making the champions healthy, fun, and interactive. And assassins absolutely need an overhaul when it comes to this category, and it's something that only a rework can fix too. I talked a lot about this at the beginning of the video, and that assassins by nature are inherently flawed in terms of their design, because it's just such a sink or swim concept that it's hard to put them in a spot that's fun to play as, but also interactive to play against. It essentially has to come down to them being able to kill their target entirely based on skill, rather than just unloading a combo or just being like so fed or powerful that they just get it anyways. At the moment that includes mechanics like Zed's ultimate being able to be cleansed, Kha'Zix's Q requiring isolation, Katarina relying on her resets and stuff, there's a couple mechanics here and there, but the counterplay that assassins have right now is honestly not enough. And it's why most of them were nerfed into the ground towards the end of Season 5. An update in this category could make assassins a lot more healthy to where they can be viable in a situation where they aren't a little bit too unfair for opponents like they are now. And a lot of the assassin champions in specific have a lot of major big total red flags that conflict with Riot's design philosophies that you would never see them releasing on new champions if they were actually made today. And a full class rework would work wonders for improving this aspect of those assassins in general. So assassins check out in two of the three categories, which isn't bad, and it's certainly enough to be worthy of consideration of a rework. And if two out of three is enough for a class rework, then sure, assassins do deserve reworks. My interest though comes back to what Medler said when he mentioned that assassins were the main contender, is what were the other potential possibilities? Although I won't deny that there is a lot of merit for assassins deserving reworks, I actually see the tank class as probably a bit more deserving than assassins actually. Tanks definitely check out in category 1 and category 2. Uh, maybe they're a little bit iffy in category 3, but there's loads of tanks that have design that's a little bit unhealthy. Especially when you look at the whole, you know, I'm mega tanky but I still deal relevant damage kind of concept that's dominating the meta currently. Now the tanks do cover a lot more champions in the game than the assassins though. I would imagine the assassin rework would probably cover maybe like a dozen champions, but a tank rework you'd probably be looking at as much as 20, maybe even 30 champions potentially, depending on what qualifies as a tank. I will say though that if the mage reworks and AD carry reworks are of any indicators, these champion reworks come with a full item overhaul alongside them to boot, and assassins definitely deserve an item update a lot more than tanks do. There's tons of options and versatility with tank items. Sure, some of them are, you know, a bit overtuned, Sunfire Cave, Iceborne Gauntlet, but they don't have a shortage of options at all. 
Whereas assassins have what, like two, three, maybe four items to choose from, and then they have to start fitting 80 carry items into what becomes their ghetto assassin build. And that item update could contribute a lot to making assassins a lot more balanced and healthy, which would be pretty awesome to see, and could potentially give us a meta where assassins can peacefully coexist with other class types as well. I'm not 100% sure if assassins should be reworked, but it's pretty obvious that assassin items at the very least could use a lot of improvement for sure. Either way, it's looking like there absolutely will be another class rework coming later this season, which is a pretty awesome thing to look forward to, as these class reworks are looking to be pretty solid. Since they don't really change the champions all that much, they just kind of give everyone, you know, like a nice clean update, some tweaks here and there, and bring them up to par and up to date. And whether it's to assassins, tanks, or someone else, I'll definitely be looking forward to it later this year. And that's going to be it for me today. What do you think? Should Riot rework assassins? Leave a comment, and if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and if you didn't hit that dislike, thanks for watching, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys next time.